Hey guys, what's good? It's Castle Perfect here once again, bringing you a Wi-Fi battle match here against Tommy, aka Pyrotus from the YouTube community. He's a very good guy. Uh, link will be down in the description to his channel. Uh, you should definitely go ahead and check him out. He's a very cool person in general. He's a very good battler as well. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna lead off with my Electro. He's gonna lead off with the Steelix. Obviously, I do have the type advantage, but he also has the type advantage on me. Uh, because had he gone for the Earthquake on the first turn, I would have lost my Electro right uh, right off the bat, but he doesn't do that. I go for the Earthquake to break that sturdy. He sets up with the Stealth Rocks. I'm going to switch out into my Salamence here, because, um, you know, I thought he would go for the Earthquake on the second turn after he set up his Stealth Rocks, but in the end, he went for the Roar, which is, you know, it's, it's fine by me. Um, still gonna take some damage from the Stealth Rocks uh, whenever my Electro comes back in, and um, I'm pretty, you know, I'm okay with that, but at this point I was debating whether or not he has the Earthquake, it seems like he doesn't have it, because otherwise he wouldn't have to switch right there, so, I'm actually going to go for that super effective Earthquake, Choice Bandit, and um, it's actually going to end up hitting the Trevenant, which is totally fine by me, it's gonna do a little bit of damage, not gonna do that much, obviously, because it's resisted, I'm going to switch out, obviously, because I don't want to take a hit from that guy, and I'm locked into Earthquake, gonna go out into my Agron as he's going to withdraw his, um, you know, Trevenant and go out into his Shuriken aka Starmie and I actually double switch here because I pretty much knew that he wasn't going to stay in with that Trevenant so I go out into my Gudra, not too shabby because right now I have my specially defensive tank on the field and he's got a special attacker. Now he's going to go for the Scald, obviously just trying to get that burn and um, luckily for him he's gonna get the burn but um, yeah that pretty much sucks, you know, I'm gonna left get some leftovers recovery here. Oh no, no, just kidding, I'm just going to actually send him out with that red card and uh, pretty much works against me because I would have loved to have that Starmie still in on this field so I could go for the Draco Meteor and deal some massive damage but he's gonna go out into his Dimitri because of the red card he's gonna switch uh, out once again and I'm gonna predict that nice switch into Steelix go for the Fire Blast it's going to completely annihilate that Braces and um, he's gonna go down that was just awesome, I like that move, but um, it seems like my Godra, you know, I, I need to switch around uh, her moves, because I am, or his moves actually, uh, to Flamethrower and to Dragon Pulse, because Dragon Meteor is not really doing that much of a, of a great job lately, because, I don't know, it just doesn't seem that useful to me, but, well anyway, it's gonna bring out his Absol here, uh, his Sephiroth, or I don't even know how to pronounce the name of that thing, or the nickname, he's gonna go for the Play Rope, which I did not... <laughs> I didn't I didn't even anticipate that thing. I mean like that's an egg move. I did not see that coming not even from a mile away and he completely demolishes my uh, Gudra and uh, well you know I pretty much lost my special defensive wall. I'm going to bring out my uh, Talon Flame and he's most likely going to predict the Brave Bird. Therefore I take this opportunity to go for the Roost. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good move on my part there. there. Uh, I go back to full and uh, things are not looking too bad for me, so I'm going to go for a U-turn here, deal some super effective damage against the Shuriken, aka his Starmie, and um, it's you know it's gonna bring him down to uh, I think a 30%, um, and I'm going to switch out into my Gengar at this point. So obviously he's gonna go for the Scold, possibly just going for the super effective damage on my Talon Flame, and uh, he's most likely going to get the burn. Yeah, one more time, guys, one more time he gets the burn. Yeah, that's really awesome, but yeah, that sucks. Well, anyways, um, at this point I was weather debating. I don't know. I was, I was like, you know, am I faster or am I not faster? I don't know. I'm just going to risk it because I don't seem uh, to be able to use my Gengar anymore after the burn and the Stale Frogs damage every time I switch him out. So I decided to just stay in and go for the Shadow Ball. Surprisingly, I'm faster. And I'm taking. I take out that Starmie, which is awesome, as it brings out his Noifrom, which is absolutely faster than my Gengar. That's just common knowledge, it, it's, it has a very high special, I mean a very high speed, and it takes me out with a flamethrower. So Gengar goes down as I bring out my uh, Talon Flame, obviously he's going to predict the Brave Bird, and um, he is going to switch out into his Trevenant just to take the hit, obviously. Uh, I did not want for the Roost one more time because, you know, in case he wanted to off predict, so I just went for the safe move, go for the Brave Bird, take down the Trevenant, which is awesome, and this game is really going awesome for both of us. I mean, we're attacking and we're defeating Pokemon all over the place and things are not looking to shy for either of us. So, for neither of us actually. So, I am actually going to lose a lot of HP and I'm going to go for the Roost here and you might be questioning, why would you go for the Roost against a Heliolisk? Now, 
there is a whole mechanic behind this. Um, if I go for the roost on this turn, I would lose my uh, flying type, and uh, you know, a thunderbolt would totally be able to wouldn't be able to do that much damage because, of course, it would be neutral damage. But he goes for the surf, possibly anticipating the roost, and that just takes down my talon flame, and that just completely sucks. So. I completely misplayed my Talon Flame right there. I should have gone for the Flare Blitz or something like that, but I did. Uh, I didn't do that, so I pretty much lost it. And uh, I bring out my Electro here. And the reason being for why I went for the Wild Charge here was because I was anticipating the Northrum to come in, uh, because he knows I have Earthquake. But he stays in and goes for the Surf and takes me down. And I'm like, oh my god, this Heliolisk is such an annoying Pokemon. And at this point, I don't even know if, if it's actually Choice uh, choice Packs or not, because it's dealing a lot of damage. And, uh, well, it doesn't really matter, you know, I just lost my Electro. I only have two Pokemons left, aka my Aggron and my Solomons. He's got that Heliolisk and Absol left with a Noifirm as well. So he's pretty much on the lead spot. He's gonna go for the Surf. That's gonna do some massive damage, and it seems like he does not have those choice packs because he just used some kind of weird item right there when I went for the power up punch. Um, I, oh, the Chopper Berry, that's what it is. It actually weakens my fighting type attack, and it's still not gonna be enough to, you know, allow him to leave one more time. So he's gonna go down with that power pu power up punch, and I'm gonna get a plus one attack. Brings out his Noifirm, goes for the Flamethrower. It's super effective, but it's not gonna be enough to take me out, obviously because of the ability of Mega Egg Run, which is, I think, I don't I don't even remember what the ability is, but all I know is, is its effect, which, you know, basically gives me a 50% reduce on super effective attacks that land on Egg Run, so that's pretty good. Um, going to take out his Noifirm with that Heavy Slam, he's gonna bring out his last Pokemon, aka his Mega Absol, he's gonna go for the Fire Blast, I did not see the Fire Blast coming, but it doesn't really matter, because had he gone for the play rough or sucker punch or anything uh, of that sort, he would have taken me out anyways because of that huge amount of attack that Mega Absol has. So I'm gonna bring out my Solomons here. I'm gonna go for that Dragon Claw after the Intimidate. I was like, yeah, he's gonna go down, but then he goes for the play rough, and I'm like, oh my god, no! How did you even leave that? How did you do that, Tommy? Why did you do that to me? I was so sure I would win this game, but god damn it, that Absol was just. It totally took me by surprise all the time with Play Rough, surviving the Dragon Claw, such an amazing Pokemon. Anyways, guys, this is pretty much the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for all the support you guys have been giving me. I cannot thank you guys enough. Um, it's going fantastic. Keep up the likes and the comments and all that stuff. So, um, this is pretty much it, guys. Thank you very much for, for watching. Follow me on Twitter, add me on Facebook, and I'll talk to you guys later.